I realized I have not shown you how to properly cut ginger. So since we need ginger for the sauce for our spring rolls or for our stir fry, whichever you choose, what you're gonna do is take a little chunk of ginger and with a knife, I find a knife works easier than a peeler. If you wanna use a peeler, you're welcome to. Just cut off all the really dark outer skin. And if there's any little pieces like that that are kind of dried out, you can get rid of them too. And the idea of this is we wanna get these into as small a dice as we can, or we can use our grater. So I'll show you again with the, if you're doing the dice, you're gonna cut across that way, and you'll see how ginger, as it gets old, gets all these really thick hairs that you can hear them cutting through. And I'm gonna line them on top, and then try to get as small a dice as I can. I like doing this just because, again, it practices the knife work, and then you get chunks of the of the ginger in the uh, in a sauce or in your stir fry, and then cut this way. Let's see if I can show it on the camera. There we go. Again, using that rocking motion, not putting any muscle or effort into it at all. Let the knife do all the work. And then you get these beautiful, super, super small squares. If you don't want to do that with your knife and you have a grater, you can use a grater as well. I find this gets it a little bit smaller than I like, and you also end up with a lot that kind of sticks to the back of the grater, so you have to make sure you pull that out. So whichever you feel more comfortable with, it's perfectly fine. This actually might be good for the sauce because it does release a lot of the juice and leaves kind of some of those hairs behind, so it'll be a, a smoother sauce. But you get really, really nicely finely grated ginger. I think that'll be fine. Um, and then the last thing, I realize I haven't shown you how to do broccoli. So let me get rid of all this ginger and go my compost. With a head of broccoli, all I really want are the um, florets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to cut off to where all those leaves are. If you have a piece that's really, really big like this, you can then take your knife and cut it into quarters or even cut it into thirds. Again, we want them to all be sort of similarly sized, but the easiest way to do it is just take your knife and go around the broccoli and cut off the pieces. You'll see where, like where the light green starts to turn to dark green is where the, the, the stems start to get really thick. And this is edible. If you peel this, you could puree this and make a broccoli puree or finely julienne this and make a coleslaw or something. But most people just tend to eat the, um, the florets. So again, if you have a big piece, we're going for pieces that are all about this size. And then that's gonna be the size we use in our stir fry. So that's all the knife work we need.